Hi there, let's have a look at Blender doing 3D text. So we're going to use a preset for the user interface. We can use my app, it's a lot easier for me to do that than it is running the Blender way of doing things. So let's set that. Uh, we'll click on the splash screen to dismiss that. We don't need the box in here, hit delete and delete. And uh, what we need to do is go to add and add text. Okay, so Alt left mouse button can roll us round. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit, and an Alt middle mouse just to set it to the left because we're going to type out to the right here. Uh, maybe put it about there. There we go. So we're in object mode at the moment. We've got it selected because we've got this orange outline. Yeah, so it's not selected. Ba bang, it's selected. Um, we need to be in sub object mode, or what do they call it? Edit mode. So we could go into edit mode here and we we'll get our cursor key. We'll put it back into object mode. Another place to do that will be over here in our scene list or our outliner list, probably you want to call it. Let's just make that a little bit. Uh, there we go. I need to just open that up, press the plus key. If we press the text on there, that goes into sub object mode. Get this big white cursor and we'll do um, 3D text, for, for example. Yeah, that'll be good. Apart from it's 2D text at the moment because there is no depth to it, it is zero height. So it is just a polygon at the moment. Uh, we need to go over to the font stroke text area here. Uh, we can give it a name, I'm going to guess, that's for naming. Uh, we need to give it some height though, so the extrusion value, we'll click into there and put 0.1. Okay, that gives us a bit of a height. If we zoom right in, we can then middle mouse. So we've got some heart, we've got no bevel, it's all very sharp at the moment. So we can add a little bit of bevel, a bit of depth to the bevel here. I'll say that much. And then once we've done that, then can add some resolution to the bevel. At the moment it's just got one polygon going across it, so it's quite a sharp bevel. We can add some resolution, sort of round it out a little bit, and make that a little bit bigger, like that. Okay. Now, interestingly, we're still in whatever we want to do, so I can retype it. And put um, this is uh, 3D text in Blender 2.66a. That should be like all oh, cool. Okay, that's good. Um, that's all good and groovy. So the things we can also adjust now we've got this in here. One, we've got a shearing. We can shear them left and right, like here. Okay, and um, we'll set that back to zero again. Zero. We can also scroll down here, go left justify or center justify. Center justify is probably the one we're going to use. We've got right justify, justify, flush, we'll go center. So that's all good. Um, we can also uh, change the um, spacing between the characters, the letters, and also the words and also how much the line gap is as well. So quite a quite comprehensive um, editing tools for the 3D text inside of uh, Blender. Quite good. Right, that will do that. Let's jump over to... Um, the thing is we can also, sorry, we can also change the fonts. I've only got one font loaded at the moment, so just a basic install. You need to go to here and say, go find font, load it, and then we can go and change it. So at a later date, you could change the font out. So, you know, a week later, your client comes in and says, I really like everything you're doing with this flying text going around everything. Can you not just change the font type and be a bit more skinnier or something? And rather than rebuild everything again, you'll just go into this and change the font. Pretty good. Um, and you'll have the option of still playing with the amount of extrusion and bevel as well. If someone comes back and says it's too thin or too fat or the bevel's not right or whatever, you can change it at a later date. That's the main thing about having a modifier based workflow for items such as text. Very useful I think. Uh, it's a lot much more lot lot much more usable than rebuilding it over and over again until you get it right. Um and same with um you know just copy and paste. You make one thing, you like how it works, you go and copy and paste and make the other ones. Um yeah. So uh I don't even know how to copy and paste in it, you know. Do, 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 do. Text tools, copy, cut, paste. Yeah, I'll have a look of 
let's go into max <laughs> i know that one works so yeah blang we're in max how exciting so uh creation menu not 3d 2d uh text click and drag no burp, there we go and we're going to make this overall size is 100 okay it's better right there we go and at the moment it's just a 2d spline if we go to uh render this we don't get anything rendering i don't think nothing will render um so we need to give it some depth to it so we need to go and add a modifier and we're going to go and add uh, here we're going to go and add the bevel modifier and that's all great and wonderful it's already got a preset one so let's get level three off for the minute so we've got um how how much of an extrusion on level one you got level two and level three so level two and level three would give you the option of giving you a front and a back bevel if you want to um in which case level one would be the back bevel level two will be the extrusion and level three will be the front bevel but we're just going to do front bevel so level three give it one and make it uh minus two how's that okay let's see minus two Stephen. there we go let's see how that looks so yeah it's only tiny isn't it so let's make it let's do that there we go that's better okay um it does have the number of segments but if we put on f4 it is doing a straight line on this yeah it's not curving if i go curved then it sort of does that it doesn't do what i think it's going to do um smooth across levels doesn't seem to know about that keep items from crossing yeah so it doesn't want to do a curve as such curved size just doesn't doesn't do what i think it's going to do basically but um one of the good things about this is i can for instance i can show you copy and paste now it works there just hold down shift and drag and we're cool with that it's a copy and then we made my next text object and we're just going to here and um is this not is this not cool and it's yeah it is cool that's quite nice and then uh yeah there you go and again you know for just speedily doing things and yeah it's just really quick and then you've got your 3d models so duh needs to be done in most programs i think because very 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 useful and um that sort of concludes that i think that should do shouldn't it um you know, then you'll get your render. Bloop. 3D text. There we go. How exciting. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I reckon that'll do. So with that, we'll quit and uh, catch you later. See ya. Bye.